today we are taking a look at the newest Intel NUC, the i5 edition Skylake NUC 6 i5 SYH. This supports a 2.5 inch drive and also an M2 drive uh, for extra expandability. And it also features Iris graphics, which should give it a bit more of a punch. It's the, it's the Intel HD 540 versus the 520 that's on the i3 edition. So let's uh, take a look and build this little guy. Uh, how we're going to do that is with this 850 EVO M2 and some Crucial DDR4. So here we go. Comes with a safety information guide. Interesting. And it says does not include a 2.5 inch hard drive, an M2 hard drive, or memory. But we've got those here, and with three pieces, you've built an entire computer, which is pretty neat. So you've got your quick start guide here, which uh, we can take a look at if we need to, but we'll just kind of... I've built quite a few of these, although not the Sky Lake one. But uh, here it is right here. They always pretty much include, on all these NUCs, a backplate adapter, so you can mount it on the back of your monitor, which makes for a really felt little setup um, but we won't be doing that in this build for where I'm going to be putting this personally and we have the little adapter here and this actually looks pretty nice this looks a little bit smaller than the power supply I've seen on other NUC kits it's actually really quite small and it's got a little lanyard loop there so you could secure it somewhere if you needed to which is you know a nice little feature I've never seen that before so happy about that we've got different international adapters so you can plug this thing in in any country and they just decided we're doing one model for all countries on this so they have the adapters for absolutely everything if you're using the US plug there it is right there and my guess is it probably pops onto here yeah on the back here so that cover comes off and this guy will pop into place if you're lucky so there you go and it doesn't look like it turns or anything so there you go really small little adapter there that's exciting so here we are our NUC first step is take the legs off tiny little legs here and we're just going to show you how quick it is to build one of these things because it goes very quick when you only have three pieces to put together If you are going to be using this on a back of a monitor, you'll mount that back plate here with the screws that are included in the box. But like I say, we're not going to be doing that today. Okay, once you have the feet off, this bottom part pops up. You don't want to yank too hard because you have cables there on the back. And all we're going to do is pop our memory in. <clears throat> so we'll start with the bottom. Make sure you line up your little groove correctly which I need to find up. There you go. Push in at a 45 and down. This one as well. Push in at a 45 and down. And we've got our RAM installed. Let's go for the M2 drive. 
Now there's an M SATA version of this drive as well, and you want to probably want to get the M2 just because theoretically it should have faster speeds, but I think the controller on it anyways is still SATA, like the way it's set up, so there's really not a whole lot of difference. Um, so I hear, but you may as well get the M2 since it's M2, so there's a little screw right there. Just go ahead and Undo that screw, set it aside, pop this little guy in. Take the screw that you pulled out. Spin it down. Make sure you push this connector down tight. Make sure all your connections are square. Um, nice thing about this there's a little heat pad right here for the for the drive here which is a good good touch if you want to do a two and a half inch drive you would place it right there I may do that later but for now I'm just going with the M2 but in the future I may want to drop a larger SSD in there <clears throat> for storage And there you go. You have built a computer in less than five minutes. Also has a SDXC slot on the back there. That's a nice little feature I didn't notice before. So anyways, thanks for watching. Once we get this up and running with Windows, I will show you some more performance metrics on this and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching the C Butters channel. Be sure to subscribe for more NUC and all kinds of tech information, so thanks again for watching.